hello everyone it's Sarah and welcome to my crochet channel today's video I'm going to show you how to make this cute and fun pineapple cozy or koozie or cover for your basic 16 ounce mason jar super cute super fun and ready for summer parties this is a free crochet pattern on my blog and you can find that blog link down in the notes underneath this video what you're going to need to make the pineapple koozie for your mason jar is of course a canning jar now you can purchase these at Walmart you can find them at a Goodwill or Salvation Army and they also have them at um, Michaels and other places I even saw some that were made out of plastic that I even work just fine but this is your basic 16 ounce mason jar now you're also going to need some yarn I used worsted weight number four yarns you're going to need a yellow a gold and a green now they don't have to be the exact colors I'm using but you need something so that you have a contrast from a light yellow to a darker yellow like a gold I'm using worsted weight number four yarn which is red heart super saver but you can also do this in cotton if you prefer we're going to be stitching today with our H hook and the H hook is a 5.00 millimeter crochet hook you'll need your scissors and then you'll also need a needle for sewing on those leaves and for weaving in those ends also if you purchase some regular mason jars and you want to use the lid what I did is I used a screwdriver and a hammer and I hammered until there was a nice hole right in the center so that I could slide my straw in I also took the edge of my screwdriver and just wound it around until the edges were nice and even and weren't sharp and it fits perfect for my straw now you can also buy these lids with the straw hole already in them but that's just what I did so here is the koozie or cozy for our jar itself we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up and we'll be using two different colors to get this contrast in here so that it resembles a pineapple all right so I've got my bright yellow and my my dark and light yellow together here so I'm ready to go we're going to begin with our light yellow to do the bottom we're going to begin with a slip knot we're going to chain five We'll form that chain five into a circle. Just snug it down and make that little stay knot. There we go. All right, we'll put our hook through that chain five. Pull up a loop and chain three. This chain three counts as a double crochet and now we're going to double crochet 11 more in this chain 5 circle our chain 3 counts as our first double crochet and I've done one double crochet so I need to put 10 more double crochets in this chain 5 because we want 12 double crochets in this chain five circle <laughs> that cold still wants to jump in the way doesn't it all righty let's just get our 12 double crochets stitched in this chain five circle all right let's see how many I've done here's my chain three so there's one two three four five 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I need one more double crochet. I'm going to join to the top of my chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. We'll pull that string and that'll close that hole up for us. All right, now for row two, we're going to put two double crochets in each of the double crochets around. Our chain three counts as our first one, so we'll just put one in that same stitch as our chain three. And then we'll go right to the next stitch and stitch two double crochets. And we're increasing from 12 double crochets on our first circle to 24 double crochets on our second. So we're going to stitch two double crochets in each of the double crochets around. We'll continue this all the way around. Make sure you have 24 double crochets for row two, and then we'll join to the top of our chain three. I completed row two, stitching two double crochets in each stitch around for 24 double crochets. I'm going to join to the top of the chain three with a slip stitch and chain one. For row three, we're going to be stitching single crochets. In the first double crochet, we're going to stitch two single crochets. Then in the next double crochet, we'll stitch one. And that's the way the pattern will work for row three. Two single crochets in the next stitch. One single crochet in the next. And we'll work this way all the way around this row. Two single crochets in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch. I call that one and two, one then two, one then two, all the way around working single crochets in the double crochets. One single crochet, then two single crochets, all the way around this row. And then when we get back around, we'll join to the first single crochet. So I finished stitching my single crochet, stitching one and two all the way around, and you need 36 single crochets for this row. This makes the nice flat bottom of our koozie. All right, now we're going to join to the first single crochet. Don't join to the chain one, join to the single crochet with a slip stitch. Now this next row, row four, we're going to be doing shell stitches. We're still using the same color of yellow. We're not changing colors yet. So what we're going to do in the first single crochet, we're going to stitch a single crochet. Now we're going to skip the next two stitches and we're going to stitch three double crochets in this next stitch. Those three double crochets are our shell stitch.
There's our three. We're going to skip two stitches and stitch a single crochet. You'll notice it's starting to curl up a little bit. We'll skip two stitches and stitch a shell stitch in the next. The shell stitch again is three double crochets. Skip the next two stitches and stitch a single crochet. And this is the way that this row will look. We're beginning to form the sides of our koozie along with making it look like pineapple. So we'll, we'll skip those next two stitches and stitch a shell stitch, which consists of three double crochets. Skip the next two stitches and stitch a single crochet. So there's three. We're going to continue this around and we'll end up with six shell stitches with single crochets in between. So we'll skip the next two and make another shell stitch of three double crochets. As you worked your shells around, you should have six shells. When you get to your last one, you have those two double crochets down here, and we're going to join right to that first single crochet. We're not going to cut our yarn, even though we're going to change colors, because we'll be going back and forth from the light gold or light yellow to the darker yellow or gold. We're going to join in our darker color for that contrast. We'll go ahead and do a little chain one to snug that down. And what we're going to be doing on this row is we're going to single crochet in that first single crochet, and then we're going to chain two. We'll single crochet in the top of that center double crochet of our shell, which is our second double crochet, and chain two. We'll single crochet in the single crochet, and chain two. Then we'll double or single crochet again, not double, single, in the top of the center double crochet of the next shell. Chain two, single crochet in the single crochet, chain two, single crochet in that center double crochet of the next shell, chain two, single crochet in the single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the top of the double crochet of our next shell, and then chain two, single crochet in the single crochet. And we'll just work around this row like this. Alrighty, chain two, single crochet, chain two, single crochet in that center double crochet of the next shell, chain two. So we're back around to the where we started at that first single crochet. We're going to slip stitch right in that single crochet. And we're going to leave this color attached because like I said, we're going to be going back and forth from the light color to the dark color. Alrighty. We're going to chain three. For row six, we have our chain three that counts as our first double crochet. So we're going to stitch two more double crochets right in that first single crochet. Now 
Now we're going to single crochet in this single crochet that's in the center of the shell of the previous row. Then we're going to move over to the next single crochet and stitch a shell stitch. And this staggers those shell stitches so they're not on top of each other, but in between each other. Let me get this third double crochet stitched and see how that works. Here's our shell stitch from the previous row, and then our shell stitches are on the outside around it with the single crochet in the middle. It gives it a nice pineapple look. So we'll single crochet in the next single crochet, and then we'll shell stitch in the next one. And this is the way that this row is stitched. Single crochet in the next single crochet and shell stitch in the next single crochet. Single crochet and then shell stitch. single crochet in the next single crochet and then shell stitch in the next. Then we have a single crochet in the next and then we're going to join to the top of our chain three. And that's the way that this row should look. And you can see the darker color in between so that it resembles that pineapple. For R7, we're just going to repeat what we did for R5. So we'll bring our gold yarn back in And we'll stitch a single crochet right in that single first single crochet. We'll chain two. We'll single crochet in the center double crochet of this next shell. Chain two, single crochet in the single crochet. So we're just repeating what we did on row five. See, exactly the same as row five. All right, so now we're ready for another row of shells because we joined to our first single crochet. We're going to bring back in our lighter color, snug that down. Again, we're going to do just like we did for the previous shell row. We're going to chain three we're going to stitch two double crochets because our chain three counts as our first double crochet. Then we'll single crochet in the next single crochet. Then we'll shell stitch in the next single crochet. single crochet in the next single crochet and shell stitch in the next single crochet. And again, we'll do this all the way around this row. Shell, single, shell, single all the way around. Make sure when you're looking at it that your shell stitches are between each other not on top of each other. 
That's what helps give this that fun pineapple look. I finished a row of shells. There's my last single crochet and I'm going to join to the top of the chain three with a slip stitch. I'm going to bring back in my gold yarn or my darker yellow that I'm using for contrast. And I'm going to single crochet in that previous single crochet. And now we're just going to repeat what we did for row five again. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to continue to repeat the gold row and the shells until we have five rows of the gold and the shell stitches. There's this one again. We have one, two, three, four, five rows of shells with the gold in between. So we're going to repeat what we just did those last two rows three more or two more times so that we have five rows. We'll be repeating them two more times so that we have a total of five rows with the shells and the gold for our pineapple. I've completed the five rows of shells, one, two, three, four, five, with the gold in between, and make sure you add that last row of gold. And so now I'm going to cut off my yarns, and we're done with the yellow and the gold colors. And I'm going to add in my green, and I just chose this bright green. You can use any shade of green that you like. And snug that down. And what we're going to do for this row is we're just going to place two single crochets in each of the chain two spaces. So we'll go right in that space and stitch two single crochets. And we'll go to the next space and stitch two single crochets. We're not single crocheting in the stitches, we're just single crocheting in the chain two space of each of those chain two spaces. <laughs> two single crochets in each of the chain two spaces. This is just topping it off with a little bit of green so that it looks like a pineapple. And when we complete this, I'll show you how to make those leaves. Now you don't have to add the little leaves if you don't want to. If you just like it topped with this green, I just like adding those leaves just for a little extra fun. All right, almost around two single crochets in each of the chain two spaces. All right, last two, join to that first single crochet with a slip stitch and cut our yarn and tie off. Now, we're going to need to take a few minutes and tidy this up and get all these ends all woven in. This is the way that I make the little leaves. I make three individual leaves. I've already made two. Let me show you what we do. We make our slip knot and we chain nine. Whoops. All righty. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch in the second chain. Then we'll slip stitch in the next two. And then we'll single crochet in those last five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to turn our work and we're going to single crochet and slip stitch back down the opposite side 
of our chain. So we'll go right in that first one and stitch a single crochet and we'll stitch five single crochets working back up. Then we'll slip stitch in those last three. Alrighty, now we're going to cut our yarn and tie that off. We'll take our needle. And we'll weave that in to the back. And cut that off. And then we'll use this other end to attach it to our pineapple. So what I did is I took one and I put it in the center position. And I just looped it around there like that a couple of times. I didn't stitch down. I wanted it to just to kind of be floppy, I guess you would say. And then I'll just weave that in back here. There we go. So there's one. Then I'll take the next one. And I'll put it right here beside it. Do the same thing, just kind of stitch it over so it kind of sticks out. Like that. Again, weave it in there. Lost a little bit of thread there, didn't I? That's okay. We'll just clip them both off. So there's two. And then the last one. Now, like I said, you don't have to add these leaves if you don't want to. I just thought it added just a little extra character to it. And of course, it reminds us of the top of a pineapple. There we go. So they're all attached. And just go back here and weave it in like I did the others. It's not going to go anywhere. A little fuzzy right there. I think I'll clip that off. <laughs> there we go. All right, so now it's ready to go on to our jar. So here's my jar. Now, this is a tight fit, so you're going to have to really squeeze it on there. But the nice thing about it is it's not going to go anywhere once it's on your jar. All right. And that's the way you make the pineapple koozie. Now, this one has darker yarn. This one has a little bit lighter. But they both are fun, festive for summer, parties, pool parties, whatever you want to do. Fill them with ice, put your favorite drink in there, and have a good time. Mm -hmm.